two, one, zero, and liftoff, the final liftoff of Atlantis. A blast off that has made history. Atlantis's liftoff from the Kennedy Space Center marks the end of the road for America's shuttle program. An estimated 750,000 people crowded nearby vantage points to see the final launch. Mission managers say it was an emotional moment. To me, it looked like it was lifting off in slow motion. It was, uh, it was very moving, it was very beautiful. These astronauts will be the last Americans for the foreseeable future to ride into orbit on board a U.S. spacecraft. Following this mission, NASA crews will have to hitch rides on Russia's Soyuz. It's sad to see it end. I would love to fly on the space shuttle again. The space shuttle is an unbelievable piece of engineering, probably the most complicated, amazing thing that we've ever built as humans. In fact, NASA says the program is about more than space. Technology employed by the shuttle has led to numerous scientific breakthroughs. You see it everywhere from implantable heart devices. You see it on consumer goods. Uh, for example, uh, socks that help your feet stay cool. Um, there are all types of devices and areas that you find um, uh, NASA technology. When the shuttle fleet retires after this mission, NASA plans to ramp up work on a capsule that it's hoped will eventually carry astronauts deeper into space. But experts say that could take decades. It's not the end of human spaceflight, but it certainly is the end of this particular chapter of human spaceflight, and that brings a lot of emotion with it. The shuttle crew will spend 12 days in orbit. Atlantis's final resting place will be a visitor's complex just a few miles from the Kennedy Space Center, where it'll stand as a permanent reminder of some of America's grandest adventures in space.